hello guys welcome back today is July 18 2020 we're gonna be uh, reading from Proverbs chapter 17 verse 1 through 10 and we are gonna um, start with a little prayer okay father God thank you again for a wonderful day a sunny day I know you have wonderful and beautiful things for tomorrow as well I ask you Lord for protection and blessings for all those boys and girls that are watching this video and overall to every single one who's watching this video be with them bless them with your blessings in the name of Jesus I ask you these things amen and amen let's read from chapter 17 of Proverbs verse 1 all the way through 10 shall we better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of fisting with strife a prudent servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share their inheritance as one of the family the crucible for the silver and furnace for gold but the Lord tests the heart a wicked person listens at deceitful lips a liar pays attention to a destructive tongue whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker whoever go gloats over disaster will not go unpunished children's children are crowned to the ages a parents are the pride of their children eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool how much worse lying lips to a ruler a bride is seen as a charm by the one who's given it they think success will come at every turn whoever would foster love covers over an offense but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends a rebuke impresses a discerning person more than an un, more than a hundred lashes to a fool and again I also recommend and always will recommend to read the whole chapter you will see and you will find wonderful things especially like this one on chapter 17 verse 10 that says a rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool we're gonna read the life of Halda or a little bit about Halda Halda's parents were missionaries she however has no intention of being one she married an evangelist preacher who traveled in 1954 Halda and her husband along with their baby daughter had the opportunity to travel to India for a year to tell people about Jesus after a year of seeing the poor living their whole life is on the streets of Calcutta Halda's heart would not let her leave and return to her home Halda and Mark Bontain staying in India opening schools clinics hospitals Calcutta Mercy the ministry they founded continues to feed educate and provide medical care for poor more than 70 years later while sharing a life-changing story of God's love for people in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 5 says whoever mocks the poor shows content for their maker whoever gloats, gloats over disaster will not go unpunished poverty is found on every inhabited continent Jesus even said the poor will always be present in the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 11 the question has never been the presence of the poor but rather the response to the poor by those who follow Christ while the weight help is given my bearing that it much be even is clear it is also clear that help shall be given with mercy not mockery and I need you to answer these two questions after you read reading the uh, proper chapter 17 verse 1 through 10 and listen a little bit of the life of Halda I need you to listen to these two questions and answer it by one by one or two at a time my recommendation is to stop the video once you hear the first questions and jump answer it under comments don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed and jump to the next question okay first question what are the poor like where you live think about it what are the poor like where you live 
Second question. What can you do to help the poor? What can you do to help the poor? Once you answer those two questions under comments, I also want you to take a take a consideration of the next verses, which is in the same chapter of, of Proverbs 17. I want you to read and take in consideration chapter 17 of Proverbs, verse 21, verse 25, and verse 28. Please read it back. I always recommend to read the whole chapter, like always I said, and be good. God bless you. See you next time.